สวัสดีครับ from e s a n I want to talk about shade this morning on a day where it's 35 degrees, which is actually quite mild by uh, summer standards. Here we're going to head into 40 degrees plus um, quite often for several weeks um, next month. And what it does emphasize is how important shade is here in Thailand. Um, I'm standing at the moment in our outdoor living area, uh, which is uh, covered by the roof from the house. Um, and although it's warm, as long as you have a fan, it's quite comfortable because we're in the shade. The same applies to the garden. Um, the garden, if it doesn't have shade, once it gets into the mid 30s and above, Um, becomes unusable. Uh, but if you do have some shade, um, although warm, and if you can, if you have a seating area with power, um, you can arrange to have a fan, which makes it comfortable. It means that even when walking around the garden, you can actually enjoy it rather than being shut inside with your air conditioning on. Um, so I thought. I'd Take you on a quick walk through the garden to emphasize how improved the shade is after only three years, and it's one of the real joys I have, um, particularly this year, where a lot of the trees have grown to the extent that they are shading paths, and you can walk through some of the garden now. Uh, in shade, even at midday, which is what we're at at the moment. And so, walking from our living area, this um, this area used to have a big mango here, and it got knocked over in a storm. And I built this. Um, <laughs> I built. I had this uh, built for me. Um, so it's an insulated, covered area. Um, Because otherwise, I would have had to change the plantings underneath, all of which were shade-loving plants, um, with the shade provided by the the mango when it was around at the time. So we now still have a lovely um, plants that enjoy the shade here, um, but it's an artificial shade provided by this roof, which is an option um, for your garden. Um, the oh, we'll go this way. Let me then head down this area. This is a, a jackfruit on the right, which provides a lot of the shade now. Um, but there's also a big coconut tree behind me, um, and there's a guava tree which has grown tremendously, and another coconut palm that's um, on its way. So this path, as you can see, is beautifully shaded. Um, and then the plants at the end, you can see um, trees there starting to to grow um, and uh, starting to provide shade. They've got another couple of years or more to go. Um, but once again, you can see that the path we're actually walking down is in the shade. Um, and then areas areas like here. Beautiful area, which was in full sunshine, um, but now with um, with so much new growth around it, um, you can now sit sit in shade if if you want to. These, um, uh, this path. I'll go to the end and then turn round. This path now is. Um, it, it has some big trees, which, as I say, are only are only three years old, um, but are now five, six meters tall and providing good quality shade. Um, and then. We have um, the golden palms on the left here, 
starting to uh, overhang the road, the path, and to provide its own shade. This area here, these are Dokun trees, and they're starting to put leaf back on, they're deciduous. And so this, this path is not as uh, covered as it would normally be. Um, but even so, as you can see, it provides a lovely, a lovely, um, mostly shaded area. This will be totally in shade, given another month, um, which is good because that'll be the hot season. Walking through to the, the wall, which um, is at the front of the property. And then round to the rice hut. And coming through, this is our um, this is our sort of utility area here, um, which is under cover. Um, it's a clothes clothes drying area. Um, because uh, rainfall is so unpredictable here, it's good to have a undercover area for drying clothes. Um, and then through to the main gate. Um, and then once again, this has um, big pergola over the top with mainly bougainvillea and providing shade and then a carport itself with shade for the car. And walking round to the entrance to the tropical gardens again. So you get the benefit of being able to enjoy the gardens, and they are beautiful, I have to admit. Um, I'm biased, I know, but um, as well as being comfortable while you do it. Thank you for watching Sourdough Cup.